What's the rush? Let's slow down that recovery and get into the right position. So what we're gonna learn today is the pause drill. We're gonna pause at arms and body over, figure out where we need to be so we can get there in a good position. I'm Cassie Neiman, I'm a You Can Row To Master Rowing Instructor, and I'm here to bring you some drills. So the pause drill, we can pause in lots of different places within our stroke. What I'm gonna show you today is a pause with arms and body over. What we're gonna do is just emphasize that we would like to get that body swing over before the knees start to come up towards the catch. What that's gonna do is put us in a much better position through our recovery so that when we get to the catch, we are already in the perfect catch position so that once we reach that top point, we can just press through our legs and start the drive. We don't have to have any action going in the other direction like that way. So what we're gonna do is start up at the catch position, sitting up nice and tall. Our feet are gonna be about as flat on that foot stretcher as possible, shins as vertical as possible. For some people that might be a little further back, that's totally okay. So starting in that catch position, we're gonna drive through and come through the finish and pause with the arms and body over. So every stroke, we're gonna pause at arms and body over. So we come through and pause. What I want you to take note of here, at every pause, is where are your hands, okay? If I look at my hands right now, I can see that they're somewhere over the middle of my shins. So that means in my stroke, I do not wanna bend my knees until my hands are over my shins, right? If I bend my knees too soon, okay, that doesn't allow me to get into a good position for my catch. So the pause really forces you to get in the right position before you really start that recovery. The last thing we wanna do is rush into the catch and rush that recovery so that one, we don't get to recover, that sucks, and two, we don't end up in the right position, okay? So the pause drill just forces you to take a second in between that finish and the catch, make sure you're in the right place with a good pause, and then we go. So adding this in, the beginning of your workout, the middle, any point at the end, to reinforce it, it's a great drill. Highly suggest it at any point in your training. So try it out, let me know how it goes.